Okay guys, so we've got a um, couple of hours um, car journey, so you can always um, skip and watch back later certain parts, okay? So uh, yeah, I hope you all had a good Christmas. Oh, yeah, so this video is just going to be on, because I'm going to set up the channel properly now, okay? Um, so this is on like just leave me a comment at the end of the video on what videos you like the most okay or what topics so I cover like martial arts street fighting investing uh, you know the housing market commercial property uh, reaching goals and things okay so if you just let me know what type of videos you like the most okay <clears throat> so yeah just sort of browse through and just have a look and see what you think okay um, yeah just let me know because I'm going to set it up properly So, I'm <clears throat> hiring a personal assistant because I'm starting another business in the new year. Um, and I'm going to hire him to like, set it up for me. Okay. Um, so, if he has time, I'll get him to um, make the YouTube videos a lot better. So yeah, just let me know what you reckon, you know, what are your favourite topics and I can do videos around that, okay? So, in terms of like martial arts, I cover sort of like what, what I think are the best for the street, okay? So it's, it's super important to learn a combination. So let's say you like boxing, you need something to cover grappling as well. So boxing and jiu-jitsu would be a great mix, okay? It could be Muay Thai, Judo, um, Muay Thai wrestling. Um, yeah, there's no single art that covers. Um, so you need something that covers striking, grappling and wrestling okay um, and then also you need <clears throat> self you know self protection training reality based self protection training as well because the street is not like UFC okay people don't fight like they do in UFC on the street so it's a lot different okay so for example, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is really probably the best out there. Well, MMA Jiu Jitsu is best for UFC, but it's, it's not entirely the best for the street, okay, because it's ground fighting. You never want to be on the ground, for example. Okay. Um, so yeah, two different, so my two picks would be MMA, and the real combative systems or urban combatives, okay? Um, Krav Maga and urban combatives, okay? So that's that covered. Um, and then I can do videos on, like, you know, how to throw different punches, kicks, elbows, headbutts, because that's an important um, skill to have. It's a good headbutt, okay? Investments, I'll just cover beginner stuff really, so like where to put your money um, to grow wealth, okay? So cover index funds, ETFs, mutual funds, um, single stocks, bonds, gold, silver. Well, I think gold and silver are terrible really in terms of returns. Because people nowadays aren't like you know the, the, the 
younger generation on buying gold and silver. Okay. Um, investment properties and things. Okay. Um, and then you've got reaching goals and stuff. So like covering, you know, procrastination, how to uh, form a habit. To like how important it is to model people you admire, you know, say you want to achieve something like uh, let's say you want to build muscle and strength, you know, study model Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay, for example, um, say you want to get into UFC, model and study Anderson Silva, could be boxing. Muhammad Ali, you know, um, could be if you want to get rich, study Warren Buffett, you know, Mark Cuban, guys like that, and okay, model what they do, okay, how they invest their money, how they make money, things like that, and then forming a habit, it's about, you know, Doing little steps at the beginning, um, and then making bigger steps later. And how consistency beats quantity every time. Okay, um, and yeah, forming a habit is like huge. Okay, uh, so we're saying Warren Buffett says, and it's bad habits are too weak to be felt. Until they're too strong to be broken. In other words, at the beginning, you can be like, "Oh, sort of, I'll eat a pizza. It's Friday. Today it's nothing." Um, and then you start eating a pizza Wednesday again, as well as Fridays. And then all of a sudden, you're eating pizza three days a week, and you're having a kebab on Saturday nights. Then you notice, "Oh God." I'm Nutrition I'm putting in my body is not doing me any good, it's making me put on weight, it's making me unhealthy. Um, but you form that habit, okay, and you find it really hard to break that habit, okay. You get this huge craving of pizzas, kebabs, burgers on a Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights, okay. And healthy food doesn't quite taste as nice as what it did in the past. Finding it too strong to break those bad habits now. Now you feel them, okay? So it's bad habits are too weak to be felt until they're too strong to be broken, okay? Uh, this could be something similar to spending money, you know? You could be like, um, oh, let's get a book that holiday, okay? That expensive holiday. It's only once a year, and then all of a sudden you're booking it, booking it twice a year, and then you know you upgrade your car. And now you've got no money, and then you get into debt. You struggle to pay it back, and you know your ex your living expenses have gone up. Okay, but you didn't think much of it at the time because you were just like. You know, spending a little bit more so you thought it wasn't a problem and now you're spending far too much money and you're in debt now you feel that bad habit okay and you're struggling to break out of those bad habits so it's, you know, bad habits are too weak to be felt till they're too strong to be broken okay and then reaching goals is like <coughs> It's this 100 day formula and in that so basically focus on the first 30 days you do something that gets you closer to reaching that goal so say it's starting a business okay you do something in that business every day for 30 days whether it's big or small it doesn't have to be big it can take you 
30 seconds as long as you do something okay and then the remaining 70 days tends to be easier than the first 30 days okay and then if you do something every day for 100 days then you will achieve more in business than what the average person does in 18 months okay I don't know what the statistics are for like you know building strength and muscle and health but that would be huge as well, probably. Okay. But uh, doing exercise every day, you need days off, so it's not quite the same because you need your body to heal. Okay. But that's in business. But yeah, as I say, consistency beats quantity every single time. Okay. So yeah, speaking to my training partner, and he was saying that I spent about. He said about three hours when he's training, and he does it three times a week minimum. So that's like nine hours total training. Okay. And I said to him, if you did, I can't remember what the numbers were, but let's say he does trains three days a week for ten for ten hours in total. Okay. Um, I said to him, look, if you did two hours a day five days a week the total hours is ten the same we all achieve so much more because of the consistency okay so yeah there's that one um but yeah that's basically the channel guys um yeah if you just if you like it click the thumbs up i think i'm rabbiting on i'm just just doing a longer video than usual because uh, I'm just gonna focus on one or one or two things on my YouTube channel in the new year. Um, I'm gonna make it better and I'm just gonna post what people want, you know. So you just let me know in the comments what your favourite types of videos are, uh, whoever so the most I'll probably just do the channel around that okay but yeah um, don't know what else to cover really um, that's probably it um, yeah if you've got any goals for the new year share them in the comments okay I'd uh, love to help you out um watching as I say let me know in the comments uh, what type of videos you like most and I'll see you uh, on the next one cheers guys peace